your insanity. That sucks for them and everyone involved. I opened my eyes to find Sorry's face filling my vision. Not a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, wait. Wait, was that me who said that or her? No, it was her. Okay. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't a napping club. Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know. Oh shit, well that means I can't join any clubs. You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. Glance from my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true though. Yeah, I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, sorry. He he he. Is what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh? Not, uh, not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That is a secret. I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of a doubt. Can't even do that. Look, sorry, it's written all over you. Eh? Huh? Sorry glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out around here. Huh. I run my fingertips down the side of Sawyer's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's a toothpaste stain in your collar right here. I try to wipe off the stain with my fingers. But, but nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, you meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori. Why do you even... Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Eh? That's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button your blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Oh, shit. Oh, look. Look at this. Look at us doing doing our business here. <laughs> this is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kind of things. Huh? D don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh, I, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. <sighs> if you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. <laughs> Don't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway, you look much better now. So, uh... Why does it feel strange to see Sari's blazer button like this? But it's so stuffy. Ooh, it's not worth it at all. Sari hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Phew. That's so much better. Sari puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And you'd take care of me better than anyone else would, anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all those embarrassing things. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. Hee hee hee. I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So... Maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori. Ah, oh, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell you with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Eh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! Papadoki, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I failed to sound enthusiastic.